just as you are. Hear the Spirit call. Come just as you are. Come and see. Just as Good morning and welcome to prayer and devotion. Today is Friday and it is November the 4th and we're starting off today. That was Crystal Lewis singing Come Just As You Are from her album, which I think is called 25, 25. It's just called 25. So if you, you enjoyed that, um, you could look up her album. Um, that's one of my uh, favorite uh, hymns. Uh, I don't, we were supposed to do it recently. We didn't do it in church, but anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's good to be with you today. So this is, uh, we are not live today, although it's been premiered live, so you can all see each other's comments. I just want to welcome you all. I'm glad you're here. I'm praying for each one of you, even if I don't name you all. Uh, I, I I lift you up in prayer this day. Um, and praying for a blessed day for you today. So our devotion um, this morning comes from 1 John, or John chapter 1, uh, not the same that we did a couple days ago, but I'm going to be beginning in verse 38. So John 1, uh, beginning in verse 38. And our devotion today is entitled Freedom Attracts. And so we've been talking about freedom, what it means to live uh, in the freedom that we are offered uh, through, through Jesus Christ. Um, and so uh, I invite you to open up your Bibles as you're doing that. My name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Um, and I'm glad you're here today. So let's take a look at John 1, beginning in verse 38. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, what are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. Come and see. Our devotion comes from Henry Nouwen's Bread for the Journey, and today it is entitled, Freedom Attracts. When you are interiorly free, you call others to freedom. When you are free on the inside, that attracts or calls others to freedom, whether you know it or not. Freedom attracts wherever it appears. A free man or a free woman, a free person, creates a space where others feel safe and want to dwell. Our world is so full of conditions, demands, requirements, and obligations that we often wonder what is expected of us. But when we meet a person, a person who is truly free, there are no expectations, only an invitation to reach in, into ourselves and discover our own freedom. Where true inner freedom is, there is God. And where God is, there we want to be. Sometimes I feel like I share what the words of Henry Nouwen and I think like, what could I possibly add to that? <laughs> um, so we've been looking at freedom and I was thinking about the people in my own life who um, just had this, you know, you could tell that they were free of you know, worries about the world around them, about how other people would see them. They just had this incredible peace that they were living in. Uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned this one woman that used to work in an office that I had, that I worked in. And I remember, you know, she just had such a peace about her. Like she knew who she was. I know she was a woman of faith, but because she was so rooted in that, like the other stuff didn't get in the way. And she always seemed so concerned with being with other people. Like when you were with her, you knew that she was present with you. She wasn't thinking about something else that she had to do. She wasn't, you know, laying down conditions. She was just present. Um, and there was a freedom in that. It was almost, you know, in the words of Henry Now, and you felt like God was in that space. And it felt so easy to be able to, I don't know, the word that's coming up in me is abide or be present in that space with her. 
Um, but that's not easy. Uh, you know, I think in many ways it is hard for us to silence the conditions and the demands and the requirements and the obligations. We, we put them on one another. We put them on ourselves. Um, they are part and parcel of the world that we live in. And so it is challenging to actually live into that. And you know, I think about the places, Henry Nouwen uh, found it really easy to finally um, dwell or feel acceptance and welcome. Uh, it took a long time in his life and it wasn't until uh, he came into this community, which was a community, intentional community with people who had special needs, um, whose, whose daily living was challenging, but they accepted him without conditions. And it was so freeing in his own journey. And I think in my life, you know, the places that I enter into where I can just be with people, maybe, maybe they're people that are very different than me. Maybe they're people that, you know, don't see the world the way I see it or don't feel acceptance in the ways that I have received it. Um, but it allows me to to just be present, um, you know. Whether whether I'm out on the streets right after, uh, I'm, of course I'm taping this, so you know. So right after this, I'm headed over to the church because I'm doing dinner tonight. But um, you know, being able to to meet with people who who are you know have had to live under so many. Uh, requirements and demands from the world as if they don't measure up. Um, they teach me so much. Um, and they teach me about, first of all, accepting my own self and, and the places where I have not been free to accept others. And so today, I want to encourage you to take a look where are the places where you have labored or been oppressed under the conditions and demands and the requirements and the obligations personally? And maybe the places where you have put those on other people as well, because we have, we have. And ask God into those places. Jesus offers an invitation. He doesn't offer demands. He doesn't offer requirements. He says, come and see. Come and see. It's an invitation for us this day, but it's also a call for us to offer the same invitation to others. What is it that has kept you from being free, truly believing that God invites you, that God loves you, that God calls you, not in your state of perfection, but God calls you with grace and sees you even with all our imperfections. Let us pray. God, we come before you today acknowledging that too long we have placed so many demands on ourselves and on those around us. And in uh, and in doing this, we have missed seeing you. We have missed the opportunity to experience the freedom that you offer us. And grace was not given uh, because we got it right. No, grace was given even while we were yet sinners. So, Lord, we thank you for loving us this much. We thank you for calling us in our brokenness 
and leading us into freedom, into your saving grace. We thank you, Lord, for doing what we could not do for ourselves, but for what you did on our behalf out of your deep love. Help us, Lord, to live in that freedom, to offer that gift of your presence to those in the world around us. Thank you for the invitation. Help us, Lord, to live into the freedom that you offer. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So this day, um, may you live more fully into the grace that has been given to you, into the invitation, uh, and may, in the living, may your living uh, offer that grace to those around you. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and I will see you live on Saturday morning. Bye, friends.